So today we're considering an entire book together, two chapters from the book of Haggai. In this book, you've got to get the setting. This is set when the people of God are returning from exile and it's time to rebuild, time to rebuild the temple. And there's this exhortation from God to not set their personal priorities above his priorities, not to pursue their own lifestyles and careers and choices and desires and things that they wanted to do over what God wanted for them. If that's not relevant to today, I don't know what is. How, how easy it is for us, for me, for all of us to slip into this situation where we say, well, my situation in life is, I've got six kids and I've got to do this and that and this and that. Lord, I'll get to your work when I can. And the prophet here, Haggai, would say, no, no, no. Get your priorities straight. Seek first the kingdom of God, Jesus would say. Go after God's work, Haggai would say. You see, there's this exhortation to follow God, chapter one. And then chapter two, there's this encouragement. Let me read it to you from, I guess, the second half of verse four and all of verse five in chapter two. Be strong, all you people still left in the land, and get to work, for I am with you always, says the Lord of heaven's armies. My spirit remains among you, just as I promised when you came out of Egypt, so don't be afraid. Listen, God has sent us into the world as missionaries. That's what a Christian is with the good news of Jesus. There's work to do. Make disciples. Teach people to observe all the things that Jesus commanded. Baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And as Jesus would say, and I'm with you always. It's the same thing you see here in Haggai. There's work to be done, guys. Go for it. Get your priorities set and be encouraged. The Lord is with you. So on your day today, whatever the Lord's placed into your hands, whether it's a family to steward, a job, an opportunity, resources, get to work, steward it well as unto the Lord and be encouraged. God is strong and he is with you.